Okay, and now we're back in lane. Alright, so farming. Hitting the minions. You know, uh, as an 80 range, it's 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 really good to farm. Um, this is kind of old school. Putting uh, putting um, the 80 range at middle. It's kind of unheard of. So, uh, like it's unheard of now. Oh, right there, I use my W. I saw Lee Sin, so I know he's in there. I I don't know if he if he really saw that I put the traps in. Uh, in the in the bush, so um, I'm gonna act like that. I don't know he's there, and I'm gonna position myself behind the minions so he can't hit me with this Q. Um, and I'm gonna stay out of his range. See, so yeah, I knew I knew uh, that he was gonna hit the trap if he went any further, and he knew that too. So he tried to Q right before he hit it, but he missed. Wasn't far enough. Not quite. Now I'm just dodging uh, his E. I know he used all his skills, so I'm fighting him right now. See, whenever he, whenever casters use their, use their skills, you just go in. Just beat the crap out of him. Yeah. Just, I think I'm going to, oh, there he is, Lee Sin, found him. I saw, I saw Renekton coming, I thought he was going to come. Here he is, oh, yeah, he is, so he, here comes Renekton, that's the reason why I went in the bush first place because I knew Renekton was coming. I exhausted Lee Sin. The reason why I did that is because I see Renekton coming in. So I know that we can get the kill. That's another thing that helps you in this game is map awareness. Now right now I know Heimerdinger Flash in the bushes. I believe Renekton's going to find him. Renekton didn't find him. Those were his only escape options, options were where Renekton is. So I put a trap in the bush because I knew that's where he, he stayed in the bush because his escape options were down towards the wraiths or down towards dragon but we have it warded so i knew um he could have he could have just stayed in the bush so i used my trap to see if he was in there and sure enough he was and plus traps reveal bushes so it didn't matter that trap got lucky and actually hit him but it, it doesn't it doesn't matter well wherever you put the trap because uh it still reveals the whole entire bush okay so Yep, gotta be F sword, speed this up. Okay, so I'm back in lane. Alright, gotta be F sword. Pickaxe, Amp Acceptor, doing a lot of damage. I'm hurt I'm hurting them pretty bad right now. Now I'm at the point where I'm really fed, so I'm a really big threat. See right there, just hit him. I, I crit him, which was which is you know, really lucky because I don't have any crit items right now. So that was that was big. Right now I hit him again. Well, I think I can kill him, but I don't. Um let's go back to the Q shot. Uh when I when I hit him with my Q, I knew that there was no possible escape that he could have taken. He could have either went down, right or up. There 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 was an escape, but the the way that he would have escaped he would have took more damage than actually getting hit by the Q. First he could have went down left and to the left uh past the tower, but he would have got hit. If he went right he still would have got hit coming back into the shot. Um if he went up then I could have auto attacked him. So anyway so if you see uh you know someone pin pinning themselves in that spot and that that's a good thing to know too, to not go into that spot you have no escape basically so right there nothing he could do he gets hit it makes it so a skill shots not a skill shot so then just pushing it down now I know he can't harm me only one that's gonna harm me now is, is uh, Lee Sin but you know, I'm I'm life stealing up you know uh, he comes in and ganks me I might kill him so put the trap behind me in case he ganks me so I can run to my trap so I know I got like defense and stuff. So hitting the tower, take it. I end up taking it down. Now I'm going. I think I go to gank. Yeah, I go to gank top, cause it seems like top's overextended. But then I see Renekton going to gank, so I'm like, uh, he'll just gank. I'll just keep farming. I could gank top and have a uh, like 
a less percentage, a, a, a little bit of a percentage to kill him or have a 100% chance to farm. So, you want to, I could risk it or I could just keep farming do the, the more conservative way. Right now, it seems like there's really nothing I can do. Uh, I cleared out the wraiths. I could go get red buff, but bottom is really, really low right now. You can't see it, but Ramus was really low, and he got away. So I'm going to check if he's there now, and he wasn't. So now I say, hey, I ganked bottom. Why don't I just gank the tower? So I ended up ganking the tower. We got that, that killed. Push down. You can, uh, with your Q, you can hit the whole wave of minions. Which is really helpful. I try to set it up so Jarvan could just use his E and kill it all, but I guess he's out of mana or something, or he just wants to give me the the, the CS. So now I'm recalling, so I'll speed this up to where I get back to lean. Um, so I went straight to wolves, did wolves, then I went to lane, farm that. Rampage. Now I head towards top. Nope. I am going back to the race again. Getting more farm. You can never farm enough. Unless you have all your items. So if you notice a pattern here, it's farm down middle, get the wraiths, farm down middle again. But then when Wraith is out, that's when you gotta go do something else. The last time I did that, I went to gank bottom. This time, doesn't look like there's much of a gank. So, I, I noticed a few, a few of the enemies are dead. Constantly looking at my minimap now. Now I know a lot of them are dead. So, I, I know that I can overextend a little bit. Because it, it won't really be overextending because there's no one to kill me. So, pushing it down pretty hard. Then I see Ramus' bottom, so there's no way he can get me. Even though I'm taking into account that he has high mobility. I'll just run away if I trying to gank me or something. So right now, I'm putting the pressure on him pretty hard. And this that uh, people have been MIA for a while. So, use E to hit him. So, it slows him down. Now, I'm starting to kite him. He knows he's going to get kited, so he backs off. Now, I'm going back in a little bit. I'm going to see if he's trying to do his red so I can disrupt him a little bit. Maybe uh, Renekton can come in and kill him, but he's not doing his red. Now he's coming towards me. Going through the bush, exhaust him. When Renekton's there, we can kill him. Easy kill. Now, th those are the type of kills that map awareness alone lets you. And that ward really helped me too. The ward, the traps, everything. Now I see the ward. I see Rams is coming, but I know he's not gonna be, he's not gonna be able to do anything. And then I see Heimerdinger coming. I know it's a two v one, so I back out. I'm going back in because I know I'm in a safe distance, and I know I have my team there too. And Heimerdinger just harassing a little bit. And this next is gonna get caught, so I'm staying close, farming. He's in, he's in a pretty bad spot right there. Let's check because I I'm I'm constantly looking at my mini map. Knowing where everyone uh, is at this point, because I don't want to get caught. Getting caught here, you lose a dragon. You might even lose Baron. Now, my team's thinking Baron. I mean, not, not Baron, Dragon. So I'm going to pick that up. Now, we're just going back in, into the jungle. Seeing if we can get a gank on someone. Especially with Jarvan with his R, he can catch someone real fast. Caught, caught Lee Sin, but he flashed out pretty quickly. Now Rams is trying to taunt us into the tower, but we're going to kill him before he can even get there. Just, just keep poking Heimerdinger because I see Jarvan's tanking it. Now I'm taking so I'm backing out. And I keep hitting uh, Lee Sin, backing out a little bit. I'm just going to come around because I noticed Talon's caught. I'm going to try to help him out. I'm going to eat Cho'Goth so it slows him. Now I'm going back in and I'm going to notice what I do here. I hit Nocturne, run from Cho'Goth's uh, Q. Now I keep running and, and hitting him. In between my auto attacks, I'm sidestepping. This helps me kite him and get into a good good position. In between all the attacks, keep hitting him. Now I know there's nothing he can do. 
He's slowed. He's too far away. Just keep hitting him. He's dead. So now I'm gonna uh, push down the lane. Me and Renekton. Keep pushing it down. I think I make it the top. We uh, make it the tower here too. Oh no, Renekton noticed his top slow, so he's going up there. Oh nope, I don't I don't get it because they uh, came back. So I recall. Let's skip ahead. Right now I'm back at lane, farming some more. Can't express how much farming helps you in this game. As a as AD as especially. AD uh, ranged. So right now I got Bloodthirster and Last Whisper. Because uh I see Ramus has a thorn mail. You know, they have a lot of armor on their team. This guy rage quits. Um, yeah, so at, at this point, I'm fed out of my mind. There's, there's no way these guys are going to be able to handle me. So, or else they're going to get killed pretty easily. Guys, Ramus in the trap. Hit the tower. I know. Uh, Heimerdinger's not going to do much. I noticed Jarvan's uh, bottom, and I, and I noticed that Cho'Gath is also overextending. So I'm I'm gonna um, go after Cho'Gath in the hopes that Jarvan will back off. Uh, hit Cho'Gath, hit him, keep moving in between auto attacks. I'm setting myself up um, so that uh, if I get ganked, I'm ready to run. There's Heimerdinger. Pops out to try to harass me, but. I did have the slow from Lizard, it just expired, that was really unlucky. So I'm just going to go on the Cho'Goth, hit him, R, he's dead. Keep hitting, keep hitting him. I'm noticing now that Nocturne and Rams have been MIA for a while. So I'm setting myself up towards the left a bit so I can back up. Now I'm going to E him so he's slowed. Keep hitting it, keep uh, hitting him, he's dead. Now I'm going to keep poking the tower. Hit Ramus again. Ramus is coming out. Just gonna keep keep hitting him. Keep hitting him. He's gonna get away because Ramus' speed is just crazy. Keep pushing down the the wave. Getting all the farm I can. Heimerdinger's back again. Just getting all the minions that I can right now. Trying to life steal a bloodthirster. Hit the tower. Surrender vote goes up for the other team and it's over so thanks guys i hope you liked uh this commentary subscribe tell your friends Victory. do whatever it's uh your business not mine see you guys